In this video, I will show you a new ultrasonic external sensor for wind measurement using acoustic pulses instead of standard wind vanes. This is an EcoVWS80 solar powered uh, ultrasonic sensor that measures wind speed, direction, temperature, humidity, UV index, and solar radiation. The sensor ordered two weeks earlier comes in a small package because in fact it is an integrated sensor where all elements except uh, the mounting arm, bracelet and U-shaped screw set are already assembled. The whole set has a solid construction. I received a version with a heater to melt accumulating snow and ice during the winter from the measuring area, which can affect uh, wind accuracy readings uh, significantly. To turn on the heating you need to hook up 10 or 20 meter cable by the tightly connecting to an USB input and external power. Here you can see what elements the device consists of. The most conspicuous element is the round solar panel at the top, including a light and UV sensor in the center with a LED indicating uh, data sending every uh, 5 seconds. It is powered mainly by solar energy. Two AA batteries are used as emergency power supply in the absence of sufficient energy coming from the sun during daylight hours. Below, in the measuring area, there is an aluminum mesh, surface tension conditioner layer, a patented element that prevents the formation of water drops that interfere with wind measurements. On the side, you can see a screwed compartment for two AA batteries, and underneath, it is a small radiation shield for the temperature and humidity sensor. The anemometer can also be calibrated. Above the temperature sensor, there is a reset and calibration button. In general, they are useful if the wind speed does not return to zero while it is calm or data is not read. But you should not use it without need. However, for the past five months, I have not had such a case and it is better not to use them without a reason. On the mounting side there is a plug for the USB used to update the firmware, although it is not convenient to do it after installing the sensor on a mast or roof. Generally you can assemble and mount the anemometer quite quickly you can also use the instructions shown in the user manual. First, however, the manufacturer recommends installing the sensor in a temporary place where you can easily check its performance. Although the console or receiver can be placed even at a distance of 300 meters, as you can read in the manufacturer's material, 
the sensor has a certain limitation in this regard. Namely, the console can be quite far away, but you must have a power source nearby so that the device works on heated mo mode during heavy snow or freezing rain. At over 10 degrees Celsius, the heater should be disconnected from the power supply because it may cause the battery compartment to overheat, which in turn will cause their spillage and destruction of the device. It is a bit impractical when we are no longer at home or we forget to turn off the plug prior to bigger warming. Hence the recommendation to use more secure and long-lasting lithium batteries. However, as I mentioned, after setup and uh, during normal operation, the unit is getting its power from solar cell. And how does such the ultrasonic uh, wind gauge work? By sending acoustic impulses between distant points and measuring the difference in sound propagation time that is used to calculate wind speed. More such Sampling points allows determining the wind direction. The speed of propagation of acoustic pulses varies depending on the temperature and humidity, so this additional sensor is needed to more accurately estimate wind speed. That is why it is integrated with the whole sensor. The sampling frequency of the wind increases with its speed when the maximum wind speed of the last 4 seconds is higher than 5 meters per second, the wind speed is detected by 1 second. This accuracy of measurement makes a big impression on me because compared to a classic anemometer, I can see much better detection of wind gusts and actually I see a wind up to date on the console, even less than 5 seconds. Great thing. Of course, you can't get rain readings with this ultrasonic anemometer. For this purpose you need to have or buy separately self-emptying wireless rain gauge WH4T by Ecoid. Ecoid also offers a complete HP2553 weather station set with an ultrasonic wind gauge, rain gauge, 7 inch large display and an additional temperature sensor. My WSAT sensor model was adapted to European 868 MHz radio frequencies, but it is accessory only, so it cannot be used alone. The data can be streamed by GW1000 Wi-Fi gateway that is sold separately, as well as by HP3501 or HP2551 console display sold separately. After configuration, data can be viewed on WSView mobile application after the Wi-Fi configuration done. If you already have a console or Wi-Fi gateway, the sensor after activation is immediately recognized and readings from anemometer are visible. If you don't have other outdoor temperature sensors, the data, the data collected by the WSAT uh, sensor will be shown. On the console or on the WS View application, you can see wind changes every 5 seconds, which enables to catch more gusts than vein anemometers. The device reflects better wind variability, which is its undeniable advantage. I definitely prefer the large 7-inch TFT high-resolution colored display console, where Every weather parameter is di distinct even from a greater distance. By the way, it has nice looking layout. On the console you can also make settings for sending data to weather servers, like weather underground, weather cloud, med office, pwsweather.com, update current data on your website and make all configurations, including those which sensors are to be active.
I placed the WSAT sensor on the same pole as the WS68 by Ecoid to have a good comparison of them too. It's about 9 meters above the ground. A few months of observation showed me that the ultrasonic uh, sensor measures wind even better than the standard one with wind speed caps. During storms it gives higher gust values. The difference was usually up to 10 km per hour. When the wind speed is less than 5 meters per second, the spread of the wind direction readout increases. In this respect, uh, the weather vane from the WS68 sensor puts up more resistance to weak wind gusts, making the indicated wind direction more stable. Small comparison of displayed data in very light winds. As you can tell, higher variation in light winds can be read with a traditional anemometer because the values go below 1 km per hour but are given less often. However, I, re I read that uh, some users said that the sensitivity of the ultrasound sensor is greater because it records 1 m per, per hour gusts at the time when the traditional one did uh, not record any gusts. This winter was exceptional this year and only on the last day of March did the first snowfall. It was an opportunity to check how Ecoid's WSAT ultrasonic anemometer is doing, which despite its advantages requires an interrupt uninterrupted free measurement space for acoustic pulses. The residual heavy sticky snow could exclude the device from wind measurement for a period of time. The company introduced a version with a heating system and a 20 meter cable which was already shown. That day before dawn wet at sticky snow fell which covered the device slightly. In these conditions with the heating on, the measurement took place without any interruptions and disturbances, which can be seen in the charts from the underground.com. In fact, buying this anemometer can be done without an outdoor temperature sensor, but if you want to place it at the highest available point, then, then you have to take it into account that their temperature readings will be slightly different from those on the ground. Here, on a warm April day with a slight breeze, the maximum temperature measured by the WSAT sensor at 9 meters in, in the sun was only 0.6 degrees higher than the value of sensor placed in the shade at 2 meters high which shows that the radiation shield for the temperature sensor in the WSAT sensor quite solidly isolates from sunlight. Moreover, WSAT sensor samples temperature data every 5 seconds. It is a really great frequency. The solar irradiance has slightly higher values for the WS68 sensor but I don't know what influences it. To sum up, after a few months of using the ultrasonic sensor, I am very satisfied with it. For me, this is the main and reliable source of data on wind speed and gusts. The device works flawlessly, precisely and without interruptions in different weather conditions. I can confidently recommend it to anyone who is curious about uh, how this new way of measuring wind, wind uh, works. For me it works great. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.